Great Valley, Valley Samansky. Yes. The, <laughs> the co founder of uh, and executive president of the Ovarian Cancer Symptom Awareness Organization. So tell me just a little bit about the organization, and then we'll get into what you're doing uh, here locally in Hayward. Oh, thank you, Mark. Um, we were formed in Illinois in 2010, and the, my other co founders were Rick and Susan Roman. And Susan had been diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Um, we had a deep love for animals. We wanted to make a difference. So we mm. decided to uh, uh, co-found the Ovarian Cancer Symptom Awareness. And we worked with doctors and veterinarians because we partner with the veterinary community sure. to identify the what we should be doing. And yeah. it was basically getting getting the word out on the silent symptoms of ovarian cancer because mm. it's a, it's a um, silent killer. And the symptoms are like other symptoms that you can ignore, and it, they're hard to determine. So we decided we were going to make a difference, so we started out with a dog walk. Yeah. yeah. Wow, very cool. And I read in the, some of the materials that uh, Kelly sent us that there was a really strong connection between dogs that can smell. Yes. Yes. That cancer. Tell me more about that. Well, um, with our mission that included uh, some, um, a relationship with the veterinary community, we discovered the work of Dr. Cindy Otto at Penn Vet Working Dog Center in mm. at UPenn. Mm -hmm. And she had been at Ground Zero uh, during 9-11 with her search and rescue dogs. So after, uh, after that, she wanted to found um, a, a working dog center, and she was able to do that at Penn Vet. Okay. And she had gotten actually a grant um, for uh, ovarian, uh, ovarian cancer um, med medical detection dogs. So she started working mm. on that because um, the dogs can identify the odorants in the blood cells in the plasma of women with ovarian cancer. And it's basically, she has, it's a scent wheel. And the specimens are put in the scent wheel, and the dogs uh, are trained to identify those odorants. Wow. So we started working with her in 2016 or 20, uh, 2014. And what we did was we first sponsored one of her dogs, Olin. And Olin uh, turned out to be a uh, not so great scent dog, but a great PR dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the sniffer didn't work very right. well. So, <laughs> but we, I kept wanting to support her work. So we established a, a veterinary student scholarship that would aid. Uh, it was a yearly annual um, scholarship that was awarded to a veterinary student, so they they could assist Dr. Otto in her work. And uh, we supported her for eight years. And this past year, the work that she had done. Um, has now gone to the next level uh, to uh, clinical trials. So, wow. and it's basically identifying the odorants to yeah. create a, a simple blood test. Wow. Um, that women, when they take, uh, it, it'll be offered as yeah. part of their their visit. So, uh, and it's not only ovarian cancer that that we worked with her on, but also pancreatic cancer um, and yeah. other hard to determine. Cancers, right. so it's it's huge. It's yeah. huge, you know, on so many levels. And so. I'm just amazed that our man's best friend has these such a sensitive smell, but they could pick that out. Oh, That's absolutely just crazy! It is, it so. is, and it's <clears> not <throat> like you'll be going to the doctor and a dog will be greeting you at the door. It's actually a blood test. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah. So we're talking with Valley. Uh, Samansky, uh, co-founder and executive president of the Ovarian Cancer Symptom Awareness Organization. And you have a connection with the Berkey uh, coming up next week. Tell me about that. We do. Uh, we've been, uh, we moved up here in 2018 and started working with the Berkey right away uh, okay. with an awareness campaign at the Expo. And every year we've had skiers and we have our, our board president, actually, Carol, Carolyn Asher, uh, will be uh, uh, skiing the Prince Hocken, uh, raising money okay. for our documentary film. And this will be the third year that she's done that. So we're pretty excited about that. Uh, we have uh, we will be at the Aaron's Lodge on uh, Barky Berkey Thursday. Um, we'll have we'll be set up from 830 to 11. 
with our information. We'll uh, be showing a trailer of our documentary, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Yeah, yeah. Um, along with um, one of our supporters has donated a beautiful teal blanket uh, that we will be raffling off. So, and it'll be all that morning. Raffle tickets on sale at 8.30, yeah. the drawing for the blanket at 11 o'clock. Okay. So, Wow. All right. So people who are coming through the Berkey events next week can uh, look for your booth at the Barky Berkey registration, right? Well, no, it, right, right. At the registration area. Yeah. At the areas. And um, later that day, uh, we have one of our wonderful team members, Gloria Sheehan, who will be heading up a Team Oxa Giant Ski. Oh. So, <laughs> and I believe they're going to be out there in teal tights. <laughs> so, okay. And glow sticks. <laughs> uh, well, let's talk about this documentary now. And um, I couldn't remember if the documentary that you mentioned had an LCO connection in the documentary or if this was part of the preliminary stuff for that um it, there is a connection and yeah. actually we uh, in 2021 we had invited filmmaker lucia morrow up uh, she's a three-time ovarian cancer survivor wow. and a, an award-winning uh, award-winning film director from chicago hmm. and she had um made a film actually it was a, a film about her um, it was called one year later on how to how people want to move on with their lives after they've they've survived sure. their, their cancer challenges. Yeah. And so we invited her up. We had a showing at the park center. Um, she spoke. Um, it was a very, it was a wonderful evening and she fell in love with Hayward. And when she came up uh, before, a couple of days before we had a special reception for her at out of the woods winery. Okay. And so she met a lot of people. Then we had the, the film and, in the in-between times, I took her around to meet a lot of people that I'd met uh, since I I'd moved up here in 2018. Sure. All aspects of, you know, what took tw Route 27, took cable, just showed her the whole gamut of the Northwoods, and she was just enchanted. And after her four-day stay, she said, I have this idea. <laughs> yeah. I want to make a documentary <laughs> wow. about what you're doing here and yeah. actually focusing on the work of Dr. Cindy Otto. And, you know, the, you know, the, it's going to be groundbreaking uh, once that uh, blood test is completed and, and released. Hmm. Wow. And uh, what's the LCO connection to well, this whole thing? Well, um, when I, and again, when I moved up here in 2018, it was an adventure for me. I'd been in, you know, Illinois for a long time and decided to come to the Northwoods. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> it's so beautiful. Yeah. And I was, when in the market, went, went to Marketplace Foods and in the lobby was Pam Miller, um, who's, uh, very talented son, Gijek, is an artist. Mm -hmm. And so she and I started talking and we formed a, a, a friendship. A little bit later on, I was introduced to Sarah Balbin, and she and I became friends and learned that um, she was uh, one of, she, Gijek was one of her students. Okay. So um, we'd always had, Oxa always has a, a dog as a spokes dog, and one of my Afghan hounds was our spokes dog. I now have uh, his uh, niece and nephew, so what I did is I commissioned Gijek to paint them. And, okay. and working with Gijek and with Sarah, um, we, he did this beautiful painting, which we uh, turned into note cards that I send out with thank you notes. Oh, um, okay. So that sort of introduced us to Sarah. And when uh, Lucia was here in uh, 2021, I took her out to meet Sarah. And we started talking about the Ojibwa and, you know, how involved Sarah has been. And so she introduced us to David Bissonette and what in Lucia's vision, um, she wanted to come up in all the seasons um, to w just enjoy the Northwoods in the winter, in the summer, in the fall. Yeah. And so uh, we worked, we interviewed about 35 people here in the Northwoods. But each time she came up, we focused on uh, a segment with David Bissonette. Um, she interviewed him 
uh, in February. She was here for the Berkey last year okay. and interviewed him. Um, and then he took her out ice fishing, you mm. know, to, um, for the Ojibwa ice right. fishing. Yeah. And so, and she'd also experienced that with Carolyn Asher's husband, Dave, who was also interviewed. So it was his kind of ice fishing and the Ojibwa ice fishing. Yeah. So just the contrast. So she came back in May. Um, and that's when she spent some time with David and uh, Birch Gathering. And so they mm. filmed that. And then when she came back in September, it was uh, the Wild Rice Gathering. So um, the Ojibwe have been uh, in every segment, along with other cancer survivors, stroke survivors, people who um, there's a strong influence uh, with the human-animal bond and how the heal not only can dogs sniff out odorants and hopefully will have this blood test, but how they the healing powers of animals and yeah, how right. how they help us yeah. get through. Yeah. So and it, it's just it's been a wonderful you know so many different people that we've interviewed and uh, a total of five veterinarians, um, three in Illinois, Dr. Otto at Penn Vet and Dr. Ostrander here in Hayward. Mm. Just their different views of the human-animal bond, the healing yeah. power of pets. And, right. and it's uh, the photographer that Lucia brought is a, an award-winning photographer. And it's, he had used a lot of drone footage, sure. too. So it's going to be a magnificent film with a, a beautiful music score, too. Yeah. So we're really... Now, is it finished yet? Is the post-production finished? Um, we're right in the midst of po the post-production, and we're in the final sort of outreach to to meet those costs for the post-production. Right. Yeah, and it's you know it's been a community effort from friends and colleagues all over, but they are in the post-production um, part of it, and we, you know, so we're we're at that last stage of uh, getting them the funds that they need to. Um, yeah. Finish the production. And uh, what's the website that people can go to to help uh, donate and spread awareness of this? Um, it's www.team, T E A M, OXA, O C S A dot org. And that will take you right to the OXA documentary page where we have a uh, uh, we have a trailer, we have the story of, of the project, mm -hmm. um, and we have. We've also now, uh, because so many people who've been involved with us um, have have done that because they've lost someone to cancer or um, it, it's just been very meaningful, the people that have been involved. And so now we've also created a tribute wall to rem remember those people, those sure. friends and family of the people who've supported us. So okay. it's pretty impactful. <laughs> And I see you have a goal of fifty thousand dollars, yes. and you're at uh, almost forty thousand. Yes, of that already. Yes. So that's great. Yes. So we have about ten thousand to go, and we should be good. <laughs> yeah. Very very cool. Now you talked about this documentary now being um, part of the September um, Awareness Month for ovarian cancer. I forget yes. the title of it, but if you could walk us through about. Um, that awareness month in September and then the, the showing of this documentary. Well, um, when we invited Lucia up, we, we, uh, show, aired at the, uh, uh, her documentary one year later at the park center. And we've formed a, a wonderful relationship with them yeah. and we want to work with them to have the premiere, uh, in September national o ovarian cancer awareness month. Okay. And, it's because so many people in the Northwoods have been interviewed. It'll be sort of like a, um, you know, a walk of fame mm -hmm. for, yeah. for all of our friends here who have supported us. Um, so that's our plan. We have to work with uh, Lucia um, for, to identify a date, then work with the Park Center. Sure. Um, and yep. then there'll be a lot of hype with that. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a beautiful, it's going to be a beautiful documentary. Very cool. Well, Valley, um, so you're going to be at the Barky Berkey registration yes. with your booth there. You'll be uh, giving out the raffle tickets for this teal blanket. Yes. And um, just talking, giving more people information about this silent symptoms of the disease. Yes. 
And um, anything, anything last comments to say about this? Well, and uh, the uh, the tickets for the uh, teal blanket, one oh. for five, uh, four for 15. Um, along with, you know, we'll, we'll be talking about Carolyn's race and, and how she and Cassidy Gould and her friend Wendy Hazemeyer are raising funds, you know, for the, you know, for the Berkey. That's, you know, part of our uh, fundraising plan. Sure. But we'll also be showing the, the trailer of the documentary. Oh, okay. Um, and that'll be uh, on the website. But then we also have, uh, we interviewed Christy Mackey from the Berkey. Mm -hmm. um, and so we'll have her, uh, you know, just say, it's not the full interview, but it's just uh, a little bit of her talking about the Berkey. And so it'll be, you know, it's just a partnership and how we support the community. We, you know, we're the Hayward Chamber has been wonderful to us. Yeah. Working with Berkey yeah. Humane Society. So we've we've made a lot of friends and and hopefully saved a life or two along the way right. just because people have paid attention to what we've tried to say. Yeah. yeah. You bet. What we've tried to share. Wow. Well, thank you for coming in this morning. Appreciate all the information and meeting you for the first time. Oh, I think you. we'll we'll have a longer relationship as well because you tend to seem to meet people and then it turns into a long-term friendship. It so does. Is... <laughs> it does. Thank you, Mark, very much. That's Appreciate great. being here. All right. That was uh, Val Shemansky. I got to get that right. Co-founder and executive president of the Ovarian Cancer Symptom Awareness Organization. And you'll find a booth at the Barky Berkey uh, for their information and, uh, stuff like that. So appreciate you coming in for that. Coming up next, a few music pieces, and then we'll get into a few more here on WOG. <laughs> 